Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back on channel. Today, I am going to show you how to use new Mega Knight Magic Archer deck. After the update, Magic Archer is dominating the meta. If you want to know why this deck is dominating the meta, then please watch video till the end. And if you like this deck, then please like and share this deck. For more Clash Royale video, please subscribe to this channel. So we all know that Royal Hog have more potential in Clash Royale and this deck is a very fast in cycle. Mega Knight is a surprise element in this deck. This deck is a kind of bridge spam with surprise of Mega Knight. In this video we are focused on tips and tricks for this deck. So let's start with the deck. In this deck we have Mega Knight, Royal Hogs, Magic Archer, Bandit, Electro Wizard, Goblin Cage, Mega Minion and Giant Snowball. There is small analysis for the card. Our first card is Royal Hogs. Royal Hogs can deal massive damage if ignored. The Royal Hogs are fast swarm with the moderate hit point and only target buildings, similar to Hog Riders. In this deck, Royal Hogs beat out the Fireball or any other damage dealing spell or troops. Royal Hogs perfectly synergize with Giant Snowball. Second card is Bandit. Bandit is a best legendary in any bridge spam deck. Used with Royal Hogs plus Giant Snowball. You can use Bandit in both defense and offense. You can use with a Magic Archer also. Third card is a Magic Archer. After the update, Magic Archer is more powerful. Due to his ability, you can use in number of situations. Used with Mega Knight, Bandit, Royal Hogs and Goblin Cage. He can defeat swarms such as a Goblin Gang and Skeleton Army. He can also completely destroy a minion horde with the help of Princess Tower. Fourth card is Electro Wizard. Electro Wizard is your main defensive card and very important card since in this deck there is a no damage dealing card. Use Electro Wizard against Inferno Dragon, Inferno Tower and most importantly against Sparky decks. Use to beat out opponent damage dealing cards. Fifth card is Mega Knight. This card is a surprise element for your opponent because he prepared for another Royal Hawk push and suddenly you threw Mega Knight on the bridge. Use Mega Knight to clear big push. You can use Mega Knight to tank for Bandit, Magic Archer and Royal Hawks. Sixth card is Goblin Cage. Goblin Cage is your main defensive building card. Use against Hawks and Giant decks. You can use to bait out opponent spell. Goblin Brawler make more damage to other troops. 7th card is Mega Minion. The Mega Minion should be mostly used as a defensive card as it has a high damage output but in slower than minions. However, it is often used on offensive as a support card. Being able to clear low medium hit point unit and deal significant damage to everything else. Last card is Giant Snowball. This card excel at dispute enemies push by knocking them back and slowing them down briefly giving you to time to attack or defend use with royal hogs bandit and mega knight general trick and tips this is a mixture of bridge spam and spell beat so keep in mind you can play around both archetype it depending on the situation if they use damage dealing spell on your electro wizard or magic archer then go with your Royal Hawks and Bandit on the bridge. Switch the lanes with Bandit and Royal Hawks. Sometimes put Bandit in other lane and Royal Hawks in other lane. Keep predicting their spells and card. Predicted snowball on Skarmy or Bats get more time for your Royal Hawks. Use Mega Knight on Alec Barbarian or make tank against Expo and Mortar. You can use Magic Archer on bridge while your Mega Knight or Royal Hawk tanking your Magic Archer. When your opponent throw fireball or lightning on your electro wizard or magic archer, next time don't give them spell value. Play with card position, you will achieve success with this deck. Use mega minion and electro wizard against balloon decks. Game plan First minute of game The ideal play of this deck is play royal hawks on bridge and know your opponent card or put goblin cage and wait for opponent movement. In starting of match, play slow and understand your opponent move and play around it and make some damage with the Hawks and Bandit. In starting, don't reveal your Mega Knight. Use your Mega Knight when a massive push coming to you. Use Goblin Catch to distract Hawk and other building targeting troops. 
use Mega Minion and Electro Wizard against Sparky and Electro Dragon decks. Second minute of game. In second minute, go with some aggressive push with Royal Hawks with Bandit and try to beat their spells. Try out cycle their spells and make push with Royal Hawks, switch lanes and throw predicted snowball. Make sure when you use Mega Knight, this not end up with negative elixir trade. Use magic archer behind Mega Knight. Last minute of game. In last minute of game, go with aggressive with Royal Hawk and Bandit and cycle your snowball. Use Mega Knight and Magic Archer on Bridge. Defend push using Goblin Cage, Mega Minion and Electro Wizard. Matchups There is a no specific matchup for this deck, but try to play around with this deck and figure out how you can play in certain situation. Hard matchup for this deck is Sparky Spellbit, Lockbit, Lava Loon with Clone. That is for me. I hope you learned something new about this deck. Make sure to subscribe for more Clash Royale deck. This is for now. See you next time. Peace.